Hello YTPC, Parsimonious Piper coming at you again. This time with our very first Parsimonious Pipe. Today I've got some of Milan Tobacconist's uh, Cherry Velvet. It is, uh, it's got a toasted black Cavendish and Burley base with uh, Bright Virginia's tossed in. It has a nice cherry flavor, um, not overwhelming cherry. Uh, <clears throat> don't taste a lot of PG uh, humectants. Um, it uh, maybe a little hint of vanilla. I I don't detect the Virginias. Maybe they just add uh, to the overall light sweetness. Um, but it's a very nice blend. I dried it for about 10-15 minutes. Didn't have to do a charring light. Lit right up, smoking pretty well. Accompanying that today is some Hardy and Sons Black Current Tea. Let's see if you can focus in on that. I'll leave the link down below again. If you like black teas, Harney and Sons are affordable. Uh, most of their their teas are available in bulk. I have found their Scottish Morn to be a very good, stronger breakfast tea. Their Paris um, and black currants teas, uh, lightly flavored, you do get this black currant, for example, you do get the essence of the black currant, but it's not a sweet, overly overpowering uh, flavor. Uh, it's, it's very nice and it pairs well with just about any coffee or uh, any tobacco, just like a, a black coffee would. I don't put cream uh, or sugar uh, in my tea either. I'm, I'm very American that way. I like them straight. But it also doesn't compete with the flavor so of the tobacco, so it, it's very nice. Let's tamp down a little bit, and then we'll talk about this little pipe. Now, what I've got here is a Briar Lee sort of a rusticated uh, Rhodesian. It's part of their stroller line. Briar Lee was a seconds um, to the Pipe by Lee that I collect, uh, seconds, and uh, I have no idea how to, how to date these because they didn't have uh, stars or anything else stamped on it. And I haven't seen any documentation for differences between uh, maybe the font or the size of the stamping or, or anything else like that. So this is made sometime between the 40s and the, the early 70s. Is about all I can tell you. Now I'm gonna switch and get around behind the camera for just a minute so that I can show you some close-ups of the, the pipe and the stamping. Um, give me just a sec. See if that will focus in. Uh, there we go. Briarly Stroller. It's a nice little pipe. It is compact. It's uh, it's about a nose warmer length. Focus in. It says illustrious imported briar. It's got nice little nice little rustication. Nothing fancy. No fantastic grain. But I got to tell you. A nice little feature of these is that they come apart, they screw together. See if that will focus. Now this one does have happen to have a stinger still in it. If mine come with the stinger, I smoke with it. I just happen to keep them together. Uh, some people will twist that little stinger part out. The tenon still threads together. That's very nice. All right, I'm back. Um, it's nice to be able to unscrew that. If you do happen to be smoking something that gurgles a little, uh, so far my experience with Milan uh, Tobacconist uh, House Blends, 
has been that their aromatics don't gurgle, at least with the, just the shortest of drying times. But if you do get a little bit of a moisture in, your, uh, in the stem or the bowl, it's nice to have that stem come apart. You can get a big fluffy uh, pipe cleaner down in there to wick that moisture out. Um, this size pipe is absolutely fantastic if you're going to go out for a stroll, as the name implies. It's, uh, it's about a nose warmer length. extremely lightweight clenches very easily um, and uh, on the parsimonious side uh, this one I picked up for $30 off of eBay $30 including shipping and it was almost in this condition I barely had to polish uh, any uh, any oxidation off of the stem the the rest the stumble was in fantastic shape uh, I did not have to clean the the rim of the bowl at all all i had to do is sanitize it uh, with an alcohol bath give the stem a light polish and it was ready to go um, very affordable so if you can find a briar lee a little stroller on ebay i i've got a few of them in my watch list and if you can pick it up for in that price range, uh, twenty to thirty dollars, including shipping, uh, you, you got yourself a good deal. Very solid briar, very nice little smoker. And uh, you'll be very happy with them. Now, the bad news is I'm gonna share you some of these these nice pipes. Now you're gonna start buying these things and you're gonna drive my prices up. Good news is I've already got quite a few of them, so I don't really need any more. Enjoy. Have some fun with them. And we'll talk to you later.